Alright, so we made a dumper on this morning after I thought I had, I thought I had a bad radiator clamp, uh, hose clamp. I saw the hose leaking and anyway, it didn't feel right so I put new hose clamps on it because the hose looked fine and what really was happening was the water pump has gone bad. I have some tools here. I, I, I carry a, a small set of sockets and opening wrenches with me. It's been indispensable. It's paid for itself a couple times. I, I like to, I keep one of those in each of my vehicles. And I can poss possibly change the water pump here. However, I don't have the uh, air tools and stuff that you, you really want to clean the gasket faces off very well on these things when you do them. And I'm, I don't have a lot of those tools, so I'm going to try to fill this up with water, leave the cap on but loose, and limp this the 20 miles back to my father's shop so I can work on it there. Hopefully that's a good idea. Time will tell. So I'm going to fill this up and get on the road. Good, I've made it a couple miles and I'm running pretty good so far. We'll see how this, how long this lasts. While I'm sitting here waiting at the light, the biggest problem with this truck, well, besides the water pump, is that the dash is cracking. And, and I tried to source a new one and they want like $200 for a new dash for the pad for this thing. Just, just this little section here with the cracks in it. The whole dash, I think about four or $500 uh, to, to replace the whole dash in this thing. Um, I would like to, I'd like the truck to look new. The seat is also very clapped out, and a new seat is like $600. Mind you, I paid $700 for the whole truck. But, uh, AC works good. There's no heat in it. Um, anyway. Temperature's creeping up a little bit now. Hopefully this light changes soon. Alright, this rain is helping a little bit. Still staying cool. Only got a couple more miles to go. Yeah, right, we made it. Didn't overheat. Making an auto repair video is very difficult because you try to get down into these, it's hard to get the shot when it's on the workbench, let alone when you're trying to work in some deep dark hole. South Main Auto is probably my favorite car repair channel. But I've just got to say that, you know, the, the tool restoration stuff, uh, you, people say, oh, what do you really need one of these auto wrenches for? This was perfect, absolutely perfect. Jeez, I hope can't see down in there. The Ford fan clutch. Let me get a light. Alright, the Ford fan clutch has got probably an inch and a half, inch and three eighths, inch and five sixteenths, so relatively large nut that's on there. And that auto wrench just fit perfect on there. Um, my new little flashlight that I have here, it's a rechargeable, you charge it with your cell phone charger. And it, uh, it you know, it's a great little light and it's got an interesting, interesting pattern on it. But uh, anyway, these little lights are handy. <laughs> so, all right, I got the water pump off. The, again, really hard to see this stuff. The gasket material down there, I'm gonna go ahead and, and knock that off of there. This, you can do it with a razor blade, but these 3M style Scotch-Brite pad wheels are just, just great for stuff like this. And on steel, it's not as, I mean, it's, it's equally important, but it's not as, as easy to do as to dig a hole in it. If you've got aluminum surfaces, uh, you got to be real careful with these power tools because you can mess up that mating surface very easily. So, well, we went to Advanced Auto Parts and got a new water pump, and and I don't know if this rotted away or disintegrated. It looks to be, you know, far just inferior in almost every respect to this other pump. Look at the casting marks here, as opposed to the machined outlet there. This impeller is, you know, much, much sturdier, uh, and it's, I don't know if this is cavitation that just this, this tore this apart. I guess I'll never know. But I'm happy with the way this thing looks and is built, so we'll go ahead and get this in installed. So right when everything's going along swimmingly, I'm thinking, oh, I've got these bolts, I'll wire wheel them, everything will be fine, and I go to put them in the new water pump, and, and pay attention to the, the the distance here is how short that bolt is and how it sticks out about a half inch. And now this doesn't, you know, completely different. I think it's this is the right pump. They just had this one and made it work. So now I've got to cut the bolts off, make sure they're the right length. To do that, I'm using the little hermaphrodite, or these aren't hermaphrodite, these inside uh, calipers to measure the depth to make sure that I don't have the bolt bottom out before it cinches down on the water pump. Hopefully that makes sense. So I gotta cut three more of these.
Okay, so I've got the water pump in the Ford. I've got it out there. Oh, I've got to wait for it to focus in. I'm going to clean the engine here in a minute, and I'll show you that. But for those people that have a 90, the, the old body style Ford with the 4.9 liter, I'm sure this, this water pump goes to any number of different models, but the 1992 Fords, in the middle of 1992, they switched water pump styles. And the d distinction between the, the different styles is that the depth of the bolt here, the new one has a much larger, you need a longer bolt, is what I'm trying to say, for there. And then this is a 30 millimeter pilot here. And maybe that's the pilot, I'm not exactly sure what they call it. But the nut, there's a, there's a, like a 33 millimeter, well, anyway. One's a 30 and the other one's a 33. So, I got the new water pump not knowing that it was the new water pump. And I quickly recognized that because of the different, the, the pilot size, that 30 millimeter versus the 33 millimeter, my old fan clutch wouldn't work. So I had to buy a new fan clutch. In addition to, you know, that, that fan clutch size being different, the hose size is different. The new one has a machined neck on it, which is, you know, it looks like a far superior pump. And, and honestly, I think this one may have had a plate on the back of it. Yeah, this is just chowder. This is just really beat up. But, but the new water pump seems to be working well, so that's it. So hopefully nobody else, if you do run into that part, um, you know, I'm sorry, let me go back and cover this. If you do have the larger bore style, the new water pump that has the deeper set here and the machine neck, the part number you're going to need from Advanced Auto Parts is 215155. That matches, that crosses with the Gates reference that I'll, I'll put up there. But hopefully that's helpful to somebody. But let me go over here and show you what I'm going to do to clean the truck. So when I was driving this back the other day with the bad water pump in it, I threw, you know, any, any container that had water in it, I had to drive it 20 some odd miles, 15 or 20 miles. I brought a bunch of water with me, but now I've just got some parts washing, some, uh, some engine degreaser in there, and I've got this inductive tool. And this is pretty neat because it uses air pressure to pull that solvent out. So I'm going to clean the engine. I doubt there'll be much of a difference between before and after, but before and after, but we'll try. <laughs> you think he's wanted by the cops or something every time I turn the camera on, but that runs away. All right, that's an appreciable difference. So I'll let you know if it doesn't start now. So we'll see.